why is Evan Bayh retiring? There's a lot of theories on this, and this is a very important question because now we've had a lot of Democrats and a lot of Republicans retiring lately, and it makes me think, what do they know that we don't know? Why is everybody running for the hills? Okay, you got Dorgan, you got Dodd, and you got Evan Biden, uh, Senate uh, uh, Democrats, that people did not expect to retire. I mean, you have all the resignations of people who, uh, that we knew were going to retire, let alone these three new guys out of the blue. W one, they could be seeing some internal polls that we don't know and think, oh, we're going to get clobbered in 2010. We've got to get out of here before we lose in disgrace. Possible, right? Number two, I wonder if they think something is going to happen with corporate lobbying. And it could be one of two things here, okay? It could be that, hey, you know what? Eventually, the, the American people are sick of this. Uh, the lobbyist money is going to run out at some point. I better hurry up and retire so I could cash in on that lobbyist money right away before it runs dry, okay? They're going to pass new laws, new regulations with the, you know, the state of America as it is. People are going to get sick of this. And if I retire after they do real reform on lobbyists, well, then I won't get paid, and I won't get to make millions of dollars. That's a possibility. That's the more hopeful possibility, believe it or not. The other possibility is they think, oh, decisions like Citizens United and the fact that Obama and the Democrats have not been able to do a damn thing about the lobbyists and haven't really cared to do anything about the lobbyists indicates that we're gonna, if I go and become a lobbyist, I'm going to make a tremendous amount of money for as far as the eye can see, for as long as you could possibly imagine. So let me go get it while the going, while the going is good. Here's what I do not believe in any way, shape, or form, what they actually say when they retire. <laughs> Evan Bayh, of course, says, you know, I still want to serve the American people, but, you know, I'm tired of the partisanship in Congress. La 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 go, 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 And what is he what can he do? He says, Well, you know, I might serve in an educational institution, maybe a charity, or maybe serve the American people uh, in policy issues in other ways, uh, working with uh, businesses in America. Really? Hmm. Me, I'm gonna go with uh, choice C there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, business interests, serve the American people. In other words, serve the by family pocketbook. So I'm not saying all these guys are retiring for the money. But is that a certainly a large part of it? Hell yes. I mean, Dorgan, after he retired, and Dorgan's largely one of the good guys, not on energy issues, but on most other issues. After he retired, he said, oh, yeah, you know, I might work in the energy sector a little bit. See how that goes. Meaning, here come the money. Here come the money. Give me, give me, give me, give me. So, look, the, this goes to my final point here and what we were discussing all last week. These guys aren't just bought because of the few campaign bucks that they get. They're bought because of the implicit bribe they're going to get later once they retire. So it looks like a lot of these senators and a lot of these congressmen came to the point where they thought, yeah, it's time to cash in. It's time to take that implicit bribe. Because as soon as we retire, we're going to get several million dollars apiece. And that's the payday we're really looking forward to. And now look, what's <laughs> uh, good about my analysis is, right or wrong, we'll be able to see. Okay? So it's out there for you guys. Now, once these guys retire and they get an opportunity, will they take huge money from these uh, lobbying groups? Dorgan, Dodd, Buy, as examples, we'll see. My guess is absolutely.